Uh, let's talk about NXT and how I broke the internet uh, <laughs> a couple days ago. Oh, my God, So dude. I didn't think it was going to blow up like that. I kind of knew, but I didn't yeah. think because I... So let's go back on, on the calendar because I spoke to um, a few people to put this t- together. So back Can- in February... Yes. I want to say around Last week. Febu- <laughs> well, n- well, no, I, we fir- I first got wind around the week of February 8th that this was happening. Um, right. And, and I think I told you and I, I think I told MG Geek and Jonathan in the chat. I'm like, hey, I'm really hearing rumblings again about NXT moving to Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I had been asking for months and every time I was told. But the way I asked was, hey, what do they think of the ratings? You know, and the response was. Same for response that I get for Raw whenever I ask about Raw ratings. Oh, we're really, you know, we're happy to be partners with them. Everything is good. There's no problems here. No, no, uh, no pressure from either side. We get what WWE is doing. It's a rebuilding time and it's COVID era. So you really, you're limited with what you're doing and uh, they were fine with it. Right. Right. So when the NBC announcement came that they were shutting down their sports network, Mm-hmm. Um, that's when all the conversation started. So if anybody could, uh, MJK, if you could tell me what date that was, because I had specifically asked about Wednesday hockey. And this time the answer that I got was everything is on the table at the moment, right? Mm-hmm. Nothing is off the table. Everything is on the table. Not saying that they're going to move, but w- the conversation's happening. Right, right. Um, so last week I got 100% confirmation that this was happening. And I tweeted right. something like changing days in April, bring higher ratings in May or something like that. Right. Kind of teasing it a little bit, but I don't yeah, want to yeah. because Very coy. I, I couldn't confirm this. Uh, right. I'm sorry. January 22nd. I, I was told that this would happen originally. OK, so we're going back two months. Um, so last week I alluded to that. I I sent a message to a couple people that you guys are very aware of and they had mm-hmm. you know they had said well you know we've heard the same things but nothing really nothing really but the, <laughs> I, I, the source to this story is not from a wrestling side of things right like right. the person that told me this doesn't give two shits about pro wrestling he's uh, you know there's two people that I spoke to at NBC one is from the programming side and somebody from sales uh, that it's going to be almost impossible for anybody. I, I actually, Justin Robert Young asked me, he's mm. like, he's like, he didn't ask me who the source is, but he's like, you think you're, you're supposed to get so much pressure. My response was, I, it would be impossible for them to know who it is. Right. That's right. how disconnected of, of a person this is from pro wrestling. Has yeah. no, so, um, so, you know, he, I messaged this person. And this person said, hey, you want to go ahead? Go ahead and say it because it's now all over the company. You know, everybody knows now in the company internally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, hey, you know what? F it. So I posted it and it blew up. You Uh, hit that launch button, man. That that was like the nuclear launch codes. And also, like, I kind of want to I want to, like, reiterate a little bit of something that what you just said. I feel like, unfortunately, a lot of wrestling fans think that all of pro wrestling is um controlled by pro wrestlers slash uh dirt sheet people it's not there's business people who don't give an f but i will tell you this wrestling though. they like okay. money yeah. they love money uh so i will say that the the online conversation around nxt moving oh boy assisted yeah. to them making that decision yeah yeah absolutely okay let me just put it that way i'm not saying a specific dirt sheet or whatever was the cause but the things that people write do impact decision making and i think Mm -hmm. this was a perfect storm for hockey to go on usa on wednesdays and Mm -hmm. for usa to use this as a moment to move nxt to a tuesday night so uh a couple things here first of all this is not a negative and i saw so many people oh oh, vince waving the white flag we got to stop that nonsense listen this is a business it's not (laughs) This is business. It has nothing to do with quitting. This is the best business decision that they could possibly make. Why would Absolutely. you? Why would you hemorrhage viewership? Why would you split your viewership? Why would you take a quarter of your viewership 
and compete on the same night when it, that is no longer necessary. And I'm not saying that WWE had to move the show. What I'm saying is this is the smartest move that this company could have made because based on internet trends, based on the ratings, you could see there's mm -hmm. less interest in NXT and less conversation is happening around NXT than it did two years ago. It just, Absolutely. It, it's, it's, and that, that says nothing. I mean, listen, the product is phenomenal. I love watching yep. NXT and I think it's a great yep. show, but if they need to move to Tuesday to, and, and get around 800 to 900,000 viewers, how is that a bad thing? It's not. And you know what? I think the people who, who poo on this decision, um, are a little removed from reality in the regard of like, listen, you have NXT on, you're going to have NXTs on Tuesdays. That's awesome, right? You're going to yeah. have AEW on Wednesdays. That's awesome. The invisible war between NXT and AEW on Wednesday nights is just that. It was a non existent Wednesday night war. Listen, you know, it, there it, was, was, it was a nuisance. It really, I, yeah. I'm going to say, it, if people are like, oh, I like channel flipping. No, you don't. I don't, I want to watch both yeah, shows. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want, and I hate that I miss certain things and I got to go back to watch certain things. It, it's unnecessary. And you're only hurting yourself by being a defensive measure. And listen, that was the whole purpose of NXT going up against AEW was a defensive measure. It was a defensive measure right. to prevent them from hitting the ratings to mm. to get uh to get a better TV deal, which you know they got a they got tens of millions of dollars from yeah, this oh, TV absolutely. deal, estimated to be anywhere from forty five million to about eighty million. So you know that that's 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 a great thing for for AEW, but. WWE is getting paid for this show. They're selling ads for this <laughs> show. USA USA is dedicated to NXT. So absolutely, you know that you gotta do you gotta do your best. And it didn't it, it, having it on the same night. Not saying that they were losing. That I mean, you're talking about a couple hundred thousand people. You're not talking about millions being blown away by millions of people. Why would you want to split the audience? Go. On. It's great that they're going on a Tuesday night. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, and not only that, but listen. WWE in a certain regard will never lose. You know, you can complain about the product and the booking, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But this is a good example of like, listen, they're going to do better numbers. Their show that was already solid is going to stay the course. You know, yeah. Uh, I think the thing that would have made it more of a quote unquote war would have been if both shows counter programmed and really had it in for each other, like WCW and Monday Night Raw, which didn't happen. You know, like Tony Khan's doing his own thing with AEW and he stood the course. NXT was doing its own thing with Hunter and their roster and they stood the course. Yeah. This is this is, I feel like, a generous shift for wrestling fans. You know, I hate channel flipping, too. Uh, I have to like scramble to watch NXT on Thursday morning before we do the show. Yeah, you know? me too. Me too. Uh, I I got I got to pick one for the moment, and I and I try to flip flop when I do it. But generally, I tend to watch AEW live. It, it's it's a yeah. you know. So it, this is all positive. Now, what does this mean for NXT? Um, there will be programming changes, obviously. I think we're going to start seeing a little bit of those. I'm not going to go into detail mm -hmm. what they're changing up about the show, but there will be some changes to the feel of the show. Hey, guys, thanks for checking out Matt Man Clips. If you want to listen to a full episode of the show, click on one of the links below and be sure to subscribe to us here on YouTube and, of course, everywhere podcasts are available.